in this remake. It was probably one of the more emotional scenes in Resident Evil history, I think, personally. They nailed the, the grim nature of the, uh, the world that it was set in and the hard decisions that people have to make. It was really grounded. Great performance by Ken Lally, who mo and voiced uh, Kendo. And then the second one is um, the scene where Leon confronts Ada on the catwalk at the very end. Yeah. And the reason I like that is just because I had a, a good special connection with Jolene Anderson who played Ada, and that was just the, uh, that was the, the climax of our relationship in the game. And it just everything came to a head and it, it ended tragically but beautifully too. You know, I guess with all the physicality of it, even just doing the scene, it kind of like brings you together. There's a lot of layers to that scene. Mm -hmm. You may not like, you know, some people may not realize it, but there's a lot of layers there. It's like, one, we're introducing a new character, two, five, two is a person, right? Then you've got uh, Sherry, right? And you're now, choo choo. <laughs> um, now you've got like, um, here we go. Um, um, so then, um, so then you've got Sherry, who you know you've just you know taken her under your wing, and now she's taken away from you. And like for me, with that one, like that's the first time that. So I mean, just to get a little bit deep here, Sherry went. Or sorry, Claire went looking for her brother. Didn't find her brother. Got Leon. Gets separated from Leon. Finds Marvin. Marvin she has to say goodbye to you is now she knows he's going to die in turn, right? And then she finds Sherry, so she kind of almost needs Sherry to have somebody with her. She's not alone. And then she loses her, right? So that scene is really tough for that. Also, um, you know, that genuine reaction at the last line of that scene, you know, when she's like, you know, I'll, um, what was it? Uh, I'll get you, you fucker, right? Like, that was legit, you know? I know I say it so off the cuff, because so I'm like, trying to say it nicely for the children. Um, <laughs> but um, that was a very natural moment, and that was legit. And I said, hey, can I, like we are saying, can I improvise? I said, will you let me play with this scene? And I'm so glad they kept that, because that's become one of, like, I think one of the favorite lines and scenes for myself and for a lot of fans I talk to, you know? Um, then I would say the other one that was really powerful is when Claire goes and she picks up Sherry and she finds her, um, you know, and her, her mother, you know, Dr. Birkin is not going to help her daughter. That was rough. You know what I mean? That was a really rough scene. And I think that scene really encompasses who she, like, who Claire is and why she does everything she does. Because Sherry looks up at her and she says, why are you doing this? And the most simple words, Claire just responds, because I can. That's it. And I don't know if that resonates with you guys in any way, but it resonates a lot with me, because I don't think we have big, lofty reasons for doing things in life for people, or for whatever it is. And so that, for me, is like the pivotal moment of like who Claire is and why she is who she is. So I think those two scenes, for me, are my favorite. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Did you change your mask from the last panel? Yeah. I noticed that. I don't know if you guys could hear me. I was, I was like, I gotta switch to this one. And it's a bit more comfortable, so. Yeah, that was yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> thanks, but thank you thanks for coming to the panel. Yeah. Awesome.